Hello everyone, I am IGP, the Indie Game Promoter, and welcome to Let's Play Warehouse West, developed by Dimension Q. Alright, so this is a neat little unique themed uh, puzzle game. You will see here, now as you can see I've already played a little bit of it about halfway through, but I'll show you guys what the game's all about. So, uh, you got here a wonderful little lady whose ponytail flows up in the wind ever so slightly. And uh, there are boxes with symbols on them with corresponding symbols on the floor, little nodes. Push the boxes there and you win. Uh, and that's basically it. Uh, as you progress through the game, there will be a little bit of obstacles, such as boxes, like that one which she's too weak to push, and then this one which she can push with no problem. But anyway, you have to be precise where you put them, otherwise it won't count. You'll know it is on the node when the symbol starts flying out of it. That is the basis of the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you just a little bit more of the gameplay to see how complex it can really be. This game is not out for the public just yet, but I'll put the link in the description for you guys to check out the developer's website. And from there, you can keep up to date with the game and any other games that the developer is currently working on. So a little bit more complicated here. Oh, and another thing that keeps your score, I guess high score, if you will, if that's something you wanna keep track of, there is the steps. There are a lot of games out there that are associated with how many steps you take or how many jumps you take, so on and so forth. Um, this one is going to count your steps. Really simple, as many steps as you take is going to be your score by the end once you place it. So, it does have some replayability uh, if you want to come back and after you beat it, if you want to go ahead and try again to get le you know, less steps, then yes, this will be your high score-ish kind of thing. And we're progressing more. And I've already solved these, so they're not too hard. Uh, something is crawling on my arm, and I wonder what it is. <coughs> Sorry about that. But, uh, okay. Yeah, and that, like I said, this is pretty much all you're going to get right now. Nothing too fancy, nothing too spectacular, but it is quite fun. Uh, challenging, any most puzzle games are. It does induce some sort of rage at, at points. You know, I do get kind of angry, but that's just me, because I'm a... I'm a Rage kind of guy. Everything makes me mad. Okay. And we'll bring this little bitch. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Yeah, it's also good to have the boxes set up as guides. Um, like I just did. That will definitely help you to keep everything straight, take less steps, trying to move around, finagle a box in somewhere. Okay. Fantastic music. I hope it loops. I think it loops. Does it loop? I hope it loops. I think it does. And yes! What? Why are you not, uh, releasing- Oh, did I move the passage of- Fuck. Oh my god. And the rage. She's so slow, and I feel like she should be faster. If you really pay attention, you can see her feet are kind of sliding. Like this is some fucking ice skating ring. I don't believe it is. I believe it's a warehouse, but could be mistaken. Anything is possible here. Apparently there is no outside. Apparently we're standing in the nexus to other realms in a warehouse solving puzzles to get out. Why are we solving these puzzles? I don't know. But I don't ask questions. I just do what I'm told. This lady has no other purpose in life but to move around boxes and move on to the next rooms, so we'll let her stick with that. I'm not one to intrude on other people's lives. There we go. Ah, oh, you fuck! We fucking got this. And the little block, or the little uh, shadow cast underneath me, kind of helps to navigate where I'm going. But behind these boxes, I can't really. It's a little hard to tell. So I under, I under, I, I appreciate the gesture, but it's not doing much for me. We got this, guys. I promise. You kind of got to tilt your head to the right to watch this or to play it to kind of get confused. Unless you're, you know, you're used to playing the isometric games like that. Oh my god. Perfect! We did that in a pretty good amount of steps, so that's a high score. Alright. What is this? What the hell is this? Uh, wow. Okay, this is going to take forever. 
Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. You guys pretty much got a good idea of what the gameplay is like. It's pretty fun. If you guys want to keep up to date with it, I'll put the link in the description for you guys to do so. And also keep up to date with any other work that Dimension Q is working on at the moment. So appreciate you guys watching. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a like. Make sure you rate it, definitely helps. Uh, share it with all your friends, add it to your favorites, do whatever you have to do. Also, if you're a new viewer, be sure to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with all my latest videos and let's plays. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Warehouse West. Take care.